New York's planned skyscrapers are incredible, but which ones will actually happen and which ones will be the tallest? Look at one picture of the New York skyline and you'll see a sprawling city touching the sky with over 39 skyscrapers. Some historical ones like the Empire State and some more modern like the Spiral. But if you think 39 is a lot, wait until 2030 because there are 47 more planned out to redefine the classic landscape. Radical changes are going on. Before 2004, there were 28 skyscrapers higher than 200 meters tall. In the upcoming years, however, there could be over 70 way above the 300 meters mark. 270 Park Avenue Behind one of the future giants is one of the world's biggest banks, JP Morgan. And they'll start making such an ambitious project from the ground up, demolishing their headquarters and starting a new $3 billion investment. This immense 423-meter skyscraper will be ready by 2024, leaving quite the impression on Midtown Manhattan. They announced it in 2018, and everything went according to plan. The architects are Foster & Partners, the same company behind The One, a 306-80-story tower in Toronto, Canada, and many more. They'll make this new 60-story office space for JP Morgan employees, precisely 15,000 of them, 15,000 people in over a 400-meter tower, an insane prospect to embark on. To get all the permits from the New York City Hall, JP Morgan had to contribute to the well-being of its neighborhood. That's why they made a public plaza after investing $40 million close to the doorsteps of their new tower that'll finish its construction in 2024. This plaza will have breathtaking views close to the latest 207 Park Avenue. The demolition of the old 52-story headquarters took over two years to finish. The old Union Carbide building also set a new record since it became the tallest skyscraper ever demolished. Tower 5th Yet this one is not the only supergiant that'll come up. Another big contender is Tower 5th. It'll be part of a new generation that looks way above 400 meters. And by design, something that could change the New York landscape forever. On their platforms, look at how this building stands out from anything you've seen before, making a total paradigm shift in skyscraper architecture. That's one reason this mega project is still waiting for approval. Many New Yorkers think it completely breaks the aesthetic of the city skyline. Another reason is that construction will be too close to St. Patrick's Cathedral and the Rockefeller Center, which are historic places that authorities should take care of before any extensive construction. Approval of this skyscraper will set an important precedent for the upcoming decades. It'll probably unleash an all-out sense of innovative design, redefining the landscape, and not just in the sky, but in its base stretched 122 meters over the street with an imposing view. The entire structure seems to be perfectly balanced since everything rests on its structural core, similar to the Citigroup Tower. But the most significant feature will be the platform over the sky, something as polemic as outstanding, filled with long lines of windows to see every inch of a fantastic view 442 meters above ground. The most controversial part of its design also can be one of its principal attractions. It could be the highest observation platform in New York. Oh, and by the way, it'll have a transparent platform, only for the brave. Although this might last long, as the owner will get tired of all the 911 calls out of pure vertigo. Yet if you're still in the mood for it, the project also includes a high-end restaurant, and it'll become one of the tallest in America. But all that is nothing more than a blueprint, and it's still pending approval. But these pale compared to our next one, 175 Park Avenue. It'll be near the renowned Chrysler Building and designed by the Skidmore Ownings and Merrill Studio, the same minds behind the Burj Khalifa or the One World Trade Center, an elite in building long-lasting wonders. This tower will have almost an entire city inside, from shopping malls to spas, offices, and 500 hotel rooms from the Hyatt Group on the most exclusive floors. Blueprints of such a massive project had a green flag since 2021. So all that's left to do is to demolish the old Grand Hyatt New York Hotel. As of November 2021, they were first looking at an 18-month process. But it takes some time to make something this incredible. 2026 is when this massive wonder will begin construction, and it'll last four years. So 2030 will be the debut date, a year where there will be many new massive additions in New York. Initially, this tower was meant to have 85 stories and be 501 meters tall, but they've since reduced it down to 480 meters, more than enough to be among the tallest skyscrapers in the city. But thanks to the One World Trade Center antenna adding 124 meters, it technically touches the skies at 541 meters. For a long time, this will be the king of all skyscrapers.
Yet at its location, 175 Park Avenue will be the tallest one by far. But there is another building that comes close to the One World Trade Center. Watch until the end of the video to find out how close. 175 Park Avenue, however, has many New Yorkers criticizing its proximity to the iconic Chrysler Building as one of the city's most beautiful and classic giants. Implying such a massive structure will break the harmony of the historic building. Side by side on the horizon, such a massive structure will leave a permanent statement over the following New York postcards, and that's something some New Yorkers don't want. Affirmation Tower Another future building in New York is the Affirmation Tower. It could rise to 507 meters, right next to two towers at the Hudson Yards, a developed area that will receive a complete makeover with many skyscrapers. This sprawling neighborhood has over 100 diverse shops, restaurants, Class A offices, and 56,600 square meters of public plazas. The skyscrapers by 2030 in this unique location will have an enormous impact on the area. Ten years ago, authorities only used the west of Manhattan near the Hudson River for storing decommissioned trains, but things are changing by 2025. Architects plan to create gigantic office spaces, 4,000 luxury apartments, hotels, a school, and over 100 shops and restaurants, without mentioning the immense skyscrapers already approved like the Spiral. Like the already done 395 meter tall tower named 30 Hudson Yards with an attraction known as the Edge, the fifth highest observation platform in New York that can show you breathtaking views at the 100th and 101st floors. The 30 Hudson Yards will have steep competition if the Affirmation Tower gets approved. From 507 meters, it could offer 112 more meters filled with offices, shops, hotels, and even an ice rink, making it stand out in more than one way. The Affirmation Tower is still a concept, but it could be a reality since many New Yorker state investors love the David Ajay team, which is the man behind the 90-story idea. 350 Park Avenue Another interesting proposal is 350 Park Avenue. Vornado Realty Trust and Rudin Management have been planning a joint venture, a new office tower on Park Avenue. Vornado Realty owns the currently existing building on 350 Park Avenue, and Rudin Management owns a building next door. The two buildings would be demolished to make way for the 442-meter high new tower, which would be leased to a major company under the plan. Although this is not a confirmed skyscraper, it definitely has potential. 15 Penn Plaza Originally designed by Cesar Pelli and later redesigned by Norman Foster, the Penn 15, also known as Vornado Tower, shares the same block with the Empire State Building. And with the usable height being slightly taller than the Empire State Building, the landmark tower of course felt threatened. For this reason, the owner of Empire State Building requested the city council to reject the proposal, but this was denied and the project got approved. However, due to financial difficulties, the construction has not begun yet. Although as of 2022, demolition work on the existing building on the site is underway, so there's a good chance that we'll see this skyscraper come to life in the near future. Two World Trade Center Originally designed by Norman Foster, the project got suspended many years ago due to the lack of interest in terms of tenants. However, in 2015, tenants were eventually thought to be found, and the building was redesigned by Bjark Engels Group in response to the new needs. There are now two designs. The developer Larry Silverstein struggled with which design he should choose. He said Bjarke Ingels' design was more favored by the prospective tenants, and he himself was leaning towards that design as well. However, in January 2020, Larry changed his mind and started working with Norman Foster for a new design once again. With its indecisive history, the project is now said to be on its way to being built. But with the already almost decade-long wait, with no construction being started, there is unfortunately a good chance that the project will once again be put on hold or be cancelled for good.